Welcome to 360DCAD. Welcome. Let's start the double bearing assembly. So, using the crew parametric. So, set the working directory. Double bearing then click on ok so for a safer side go to the manage session it is not display and ok so it erase the all the history of a part which we have created so if the same name part is created once again it will be possible so go to new part solid and check the use default template so now draw the first part that the first part is the base here we can see it in this particular diagram so go to the part solid create base and click on ok select mms part solid click on ok so to make the plane visible make it select all then in this particular figure we will first draw this section and extrude it by the distance of 40 so we want to draw this bottom part so let's draw it it is having the r 7.5 and outer circle having the r 12.5 and distance between two is 35 so let's go to the extrude select the front plane go to the sketch view let's draw the two circle here we know the radius 7.5 into 2 and outer radius is 12.5 into 2 the distance between the two center that is 35 so go to the normal this point so first make it uh, symmetrical so go to symmetry constraint this is symmetry with this center this center and center line so this is become symmetrical then go to the normal distance between two is 35 again check this diagram so we want to create this particular thickness of 15 and so first connect it from this point to this point and again we want to create a particular slot over here and this is the straight line so draw a straight line between this and delete the unnecessary part and again to know this particular dimension so this is 15 so again we can make it symmetry the distance is 15 and what else we know so this is 5 this is 15 this is 10 so from this particular thing this distance will be 10 plus 10 that is 20 so from this line to this distance is 20 so delete this particular portion as well as delete this line and let's connect this part so this is this section is completed we can see it in this particular shape so let's extrude it by the distance of 40 so click on ok select extrude on both side and the depth is 40 so 
click on ok so this much part is completed but still we want to draw the outer body of this particular part so let's see again and it is having the depth of 30 so again go to the diagram again go to the extrude select the center plane again go to the sketch view so in this particular diagram we have to create this particular sketch so first of all go to the project project all the corner which we are going to require then draw a horizontal line then one vertical line after one horizontal vertical and close it so first create a center line to make it symmetrical select the line which needed to be mirrored go to the mirror command select center line click on the then this some particular l1 is taken we don't want it so delete that particular l1 then we know this particular distance is 17.15 So give that distance 17.5 then vertical height is 10 this distance is 10 and total distance is 15 so we don't want this particular L1 so delete it select it and delete it and this distance to be 15 and here we know the total distance this is 90 so this distance is 90 so complete shape is generated we can create this slot in this figure or maybe in next feature so click on ok extrude on both side and distance is 30 click on done again we can go to the extrude select this particular shape go to the sketch view and then go to the reference pick this particular line click on close so we can get this line too so again in this figure we have to draw this particular shape this distance is 45 and this distance is 5 so let's draw this particular shape this is 45 by 2 and we know this to this distance take your circus uh, cursor here and press the scroll so this distance is for you and we can mirror that particular line so pick the line go to the mirror command select the center line and now connect this particular part which we want to extrude and cut so click on ok go to the flip material it will automatically activate the remove material if not you have to activate it then click on done so this much part is completed so the almost all things are done just the holes are remaining so to get the dimension of hole so this distance is from the center to the whole center having the distance of 30 so go to the whole command set the center and it is having the phi is equal to 0 0.4 so this is 4.5 phi 
and depth is 15 and it is placed at 6 places so depth given is 15 then we have to place this two green dot where we know the location so this distance is 30 but we cannot place it at the center so in this particular condition you have to calculate it so from center this particular distance is so this one particular distance is given as 7.5 so place one green dot from this particular place which is 7.5 so this is 7.5 distance and the next thing we know is this particular distance is 30 so this is 30 this is 90 so 30 by 2 15 and 90 by 2 is 45 so 45 minus 15 so it is again 30 so distance from this particular plane is not 30 it is 15 So we know the total distance is 90. So from this particular plane, this is 30, this is 45. So 45 minus this 30, that is 15. So this whole is completed. So click on OK. We can make the pattern of this. Choose the direction. Click on this particular line. So flip the direction. The distance between the two holes is given as 60. So enter here as 60 and go to the second direction, pick this second direction, again flip the direction and distance between the two holes is 15. So enter this value as 15, click on OK. So these four holes are generated. Now the next thing we have to separately generate these two holes. So again go to the hole command and place this particular hole so go to the hole command and place it at this particular place we know the distance from this is 0 and the second distance we know is this particular distance that is 30 so this is 30 so this distance is 5 so second from this particular corner and we know this distance is to be not 0 5 this distance is 5 and pi is equal to 4.5 and depth is 15 so this particular hole is created extrude it again make it to the pattern make it directional select particular direction flip the direction and the distance between the two hole is again 30 okay so this particular part is completed save it now go to the next part that is the cap so save it close it then create new part part solid give the name cap click on ok select mmns part solid click on ok so again to create this particular part first we have to create this particular shape and extrude it so again same 7.5 12 and distance is 35 so again go to the extrude select the front plane go to the sketch view again draw two circle 
and draw the center line and give the appropriate direction dimension 7.5 into 2 and second is 25 so this is 35 divided by 2 then delete the unwanted part now select the part and mirror it with the center line now we know that this part is connected and this part is connected so draw a line from this to this this line in this particular part now delete the unwanted thing and close the loop so this much part has been created we can check the top part over here so again extrude it by 40 so click on ok then go to the extrude on both side and depth is 40 then click on ok so to draw next part you can check it is a simple box so and having the size of length of 70 so again go to the extrude command select this particular plane go to the sketch view then we have to draw the this part so again go to the project command project this part and this part so draw a line connecting from here to here and close it and you know the distance from this to center line this is 70 by 2 and same we can draw a center line and mirror these lines so this total part is completed click on ok extrude it on both side and we know the dimension that is 30 and click on ok so this much part is completed now go for the hole again this is 7.5 and this is 5 so again go to the hole command place the hole this is the 4.5 you know the dimension from this point and we also know the distance from this plane this is 5 hole is 4.5 and here the depth is throughout so click on ok go to the pattern select the direction this is the first direction flip the direction of a hole or direction of pattern distance between the two hole is 30 plus 30 that is 60 so make it 60 then go for the next direction select this particular line and distance is 15 and again it is going on this direction we want in that direction so flip it and then click on ok so again these four holes are generated now we have to create one more hole on this particular surface having the distance of 0 from the center plane and second distance we know from this particular plane and that is to be 5 so this distance is 5 and again hole is throughout click on ok again make it pattern along the direction select this particular direction flip the pattern direction and again the distance is 30 then click on ok so this is the top part has been completed save it and close it 
so now these two parts are completed let's draw the third part third part is bushing so outer diameter is 20 and having the depth of 5 so let's go to the creo create a new part use default template and check here is bushing click on ok select mmns part solid click on ok then go to the extrude select the front surface go to the sketch view draw a circle with the diameter 20 then click on ok and extrude it by 5 then click on ok so this much part has been completed now again go to the next pie that is a 15 and depth is 40 so again go to the extrude command select the top surface go to the sketch view diameter is 15 click on ok so again go to the edit definition and change it to the 40 then click on ok so this push is generated now we want to make the whole of pi 11 so go to the whole command select the axis and press ctrl select the top plane so again pi is equal to 11 and hole is throughout so click on ok so this particular bushing is completed save it close it then the next part is bold so for bold we have to draw the hexagon with the distance of edges is 7 and the depth is 4 so go to the new use default template and check use the name bold ok select mmns part solid ok go to the extrude select the top surface go to the sketch view then go to palette select hexagon drag it on the screen close it and again drag it to the center click on done and now we the distance between this side and this side is to be resolve the sketch and this particular size is given as 7 so click on ok extrude it by 4 then click on ok so this extrude has been generated and now we will want the pi of 4.5 and depth is 25 so again go to the extrude select the top surface go to the sketch view draw the circle with the diameter 4.5 and extrude it by this length 25 click on ok so this much bolt is completed now we have to select the chamfer or the revolve to remove the edges of the bolt so go to the revolve command select the appropriate plane where the corner is present and go to the sketch view now project the corners draw a slanted line and give this particular distance this is as 1 and also this is dimension to be 1 and remove the unnecessary line create a center line about which we need to revolve that triangle click on ok now we want to remove this particular material and click on ok so this particular bolt is been generated so save it and close it now all part has been created now go to the assembly so again go to the creo parametric go to new select asm design use default template and check and select give a proper name click on ok select the mmns asm design click on ok so this is the assembly window call the first part to be base click on open for first part make the automatic to default then click on ok so first part has been inserted again go to the second insert the cap click on ok 
so for this particular thing I rotate our job now we can move it in any direction so we know here that this particular hole should get coincident with this axis make it coincident then this particular hole should coincident with this axis instead of oriented make it coincident and third thing we know that this surface should coincident with this surface so this is the complete assembly completed here it can show the pulley constraint so click on ok next thing we have to insert the bush so go to the assembly select the bushing open it so this particular axis so there is no axis given so just remove it and select this particular surface should coincident with this surface again we can flip the direction and move it accordingly now we know next thing is this particular surface should coincide with this surface so again it is a fully constraint so click on ok now again we have to call the same bushing click on open again this surface should coincide with this surface then flip the direction again move the part go to the placement new constraint this particular surface again coincident with this surface so distance change it to coincident and click it show fully constraint click on ok now next thing we have to assemble the bolt so go to the bolt click on open so this axis should coincident with this axis flip the direction you can move the part change the distance to coincident and next thing this plane should coincident with this particular plane so again change to distance to coincident click on done then you can select the bolt and make it a pattern so port reference has been taken click on ok now still two are remaining so again call the bolt click on open again this axis should coincide with this particular axis so make it coincident flip the direction move the part and again go to the this surface should connect with this surface and again make it coincident click on ok now again you can use the pattern command for this so that second part is considered so we have make the pattern of this kind previously so it taken it as a reference so click on ok so this part is completed remove the all the plane axis point display etc so this part has been completed so save it and done